Taking part in a turkey trot, it's a special Thanksgiving tradition we know for a lot of families, but for one North Texas community, the run is about so much more than just burning calories ahead of the big meal. Our Caroline Vandergriff shares with you the why. A decade ago, this group of neighbors came up with an idea to help a friend. She'd had a double lung transplant and needed, needed some help financially. So they organized a Thanksgiving trot in Alito to raise much needed funds for Marsha Walters. And we didn't know what we were doing, but we made it happen in six weeks. And uh, from then, uh, we thought that would be it, but God wasn't finished. Each year, raising tens of thousands of dollars for a different family with a medical need. There's really not words uh, to say what this means. To every person, uh, recipient um, and to our family and the, and the job that these women do is <laughs> incredible. Walters passed away in April and the race is now named in her memory. All proceeds this year will go to 11-year-old Brittany McCoy. She looks normal, but she's like a six-month-old in a 11-year body. Brittany's also legally blind and has epilepsy. The funds from the trot will go a long way towards improving her quality of life. So we're hoping to make our house more accessible for her, be able to get her in and out, and then just within the house. The McCoys say this race shows what makes Alito so special. And really it's not about us. We happen to be this year's benefactors, but it's you know about the people behind us and, and the community and the school district. I mean, it just warms your heart as a mother to see people loving on your child. So that's what I'm looking forward to for tomorrow. The Thanksgiving trot starts at 8 a.m. in the parking lot of the Alito High School football stadium. More than 1,400 people are expected to lace up their sneakers for the 5K and the one-mile fun run. In Alito, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News. Always better when you get a reason behind it.